do you ever wonder where your day went and you feel like you didn't accomplish much and you wish you had a better time management schedule? Well, today, let me share with you how to feel the joy and be comfortable with less stress running your business with my time blocking system. Hey, I'm Gail Bates and I'm a goal strategist and I focus on helping entrepreneurs be consistent in achieving the right goals at the right time in the business. I help them focus on goals to increase their revenue, lead generation goals, and an action plan to achieve those goals in a 90-day period. So if you're an entrepreneur who needs help with overwhelm or procrastination or just setting the right goals in growing your business, then you'll love my 90-day goals playbook that shows you step-by-step actions to achieve your goal. And you can download it in the link below. And of course, I'd love you to hit that subscribe button today for future tips on growing a successful business. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload more videos. Now let's talk time blocking. So I find when I schedule my work in specific blocks of time, I make more progress in working my business. So when I lay out time blocks in my calendar every week that are outlined in my plan, I I feel the power of less stress because I'm getting things accomplished that are on my to-do list. And that really brings me great comfort and joy in running my business. So what is time blocking? Well, it's a simple system where you block off portions of your day to focus on specific tasks and even prioritize specific tasks. And there are four main blocks of time that I suggest that you schedule in your business. And I'm going to suggest these four because I feel they are essential to running your business. And you might want to write them down. Okay, so number one is what we call tiger time. Now, the name Tiger Time was coined by Amy Porterfield in her podcast, and I'll link to that below. It's basically anything that needs to get done now or immediately. Tiger Time are the tasks that can't wait, right? And anything that requires major focus and has a specific deadline to meet, it's Tiger Time. So when I work a block of Tiger Time, I see great results in moving my business forward. Now, the second time block I recommend is an admin time block. Now, this is a time for you to get those administrative tasks out of the way. Now, it could be tracking your stats or focusing on follow-up lists or getting on top of your CRM because admin time is necessary, okay? It's full of things that we put off or procrastinate a lot, but they're really necessary in your business. And when you block off one or two hours on your calendar with admin time, it's a joyful feeling and you feel so much more efficient in running your business. Now, the third time block I recommend is what I call project time. Now, this is the time to get specific projects you have started and get them completed. Now, project time for me is devoting like a two or three hour block of time. A little longer time is necessary when working on projects like launching a new product or writing a new lead magnet or a new sales campaign or one of my favorites is creating a new online course. A project could take a number of different three hour blocks of times until they're completed. But because you've planned out the time in blocks of time, you know that you're on your way to completing that project. And what a great feeling that is when you have that completed. Now, the fourth time block I recommend is blocking specific time you need for social media. And I have found this to be my secret weapon in getting blogs done, my YouTube videos and social media posts all done in a consistent manner. And I schedule this specific time block, this social media time block, every week where I do my Sunday planning ritual. And it's this weekly time block that helps me post a steady stream of information using my social media content plan as my guide. So every Sunday when I sit down with my 2023 planner and my one notebook journal and my Google Calendar, This is when I plan my time blocking schedule in getting things done. I always begin with a time blocking exercise that I've developed specifically for my clients. But the bottom line here is when you plan time every week to get things done, you'll find the joy and you'll feel comfort and less stress using this time blocking system. I want to give you my last pointers on this. 
So number one, limit your time blocks. I suggest no more than six. It helps you stay on task. And set no more than three hour time blocks. Three hours is the limit. You want to set the time block for your block according to how long the project or task will take. You know, many people set a timer. And I find this is really helpful for me. However, time has stressed some people out. So really, it's up to you. And most importantly, leave transition time between the blocks. Get up, walk around. Maybe like me, I throw a load in the wash before zeroing in on my next block of time. So I'm challenging you to give this time blocking system a try. And after you've experienced the joy, the comfort, and less stress, or what we call the stress-reducing power of how it works, then DM me on Instagram right there and share your thoughts. And I'll see you on the next video.